Welcome to my crib. Welcome back everybody. Today, of course, we're not in our usual spot. There's no guns in my hand. That may change throughout the video. We shall see. Um, but today I am in Nebraska as we're filming this, but my wife and I are en route to Yellowstone uh, National Park. So a couple months ago, we were talking about it. We wanted to go check it out, check out that area, both because just of its natural beauty and then potentially down the road, uh, picking up a house out in that area, maybe as a second property or something like that. Um, I've been out there, uh, my wife has not, so uh, we're gonna go see the area and see what's going on. Of course, the train rolls by as we're losing light and have to film. Anyway, uh, right now, like I said, we are in Nebraska, and uh, first night, we stayed in the, uh, I believe it was the Jefferson National Park. Don't quote me on that, in Southern Virginia. I'll roll in a map screenshot here for you guys so you can track along. And then we uh, headed out and went to the Washington uh, Conservation Preserve or something like that in Southern Illinois last night. That's where we stopped. We hung out there. And today we're in York, Nebraska uh, at a campground there or here, I guess, as it were. Um, and what we're doing again is just going out there to check everything out and see what's out there. Maybe if we want to go there more or get a place, like I said. Uh, either way, we got an RV, rented that, uh, as you guys saw in the intro. So that way we could bring the dogs along. My dogs are they're good dogs, but they're definitely not the kind of dogs you want to take on planes. Um, so we decided to bring them along in the RV and uh, we've been rolling along. I've been doing the majority of the driving. I assume or suspect rather that that will continue. However, my wife uh, did take the wheel for a little bit for the first time. She's a little bit intimidated by the RV. Uh, while it's a small RV uh, compared to her typical uh, Toyota Camry, it's very, very large and she can't even park that thing. So this thing's a big, big difference for her. So uh, as you guys can see, we've got a beautiful view out here tonight. Uh, without question, it's gorgeous. And uh, if you guys wanna, maybe we'll head down, take a look at the actual RV itself and uh, the episode one. I plan on making this a multi-series video, although I really don't have a plan for it. We'll see how it all turns out. Either way, let's get down off the roof and check out the actual RV itself. So this is our ride. You guys can see our co-pilot there, Mr. Colt, in the passenger seat. Uh, it's based on an E350 Ford chassis. And then of course we have the built up portion on the back. Um, we have a bedroom in the rear, which I'll show you there. And then sort of like a dining room that expands, kitchen area. And then of course the cab where our dogs are holding court right now. Uh, we'll walk you up to it. Actually, let's go over the outside first. So this is actually an awning right here. Uh, this all comes out if you wanted to sit under it right now. It's about 70 degrees out here. So it's a really beautiful night. There's really no need to get out of the sun or anything like that. And actually here, knock on wood, there's no mosquitoes or bugs or anything right now, which is kind of cool as well. Um, so here on this side, this is where our propane tank is. Uh, you can access that, of course, just turn these two and fall off, turn it on. My wife's actually inside right now cooking uh, on the stove, so she's utilizing that. Door is lockable, um, lights on the exterior, big old storage unit here in the rear, which is huge, by the way. I had no idea how big this was. I looked at pictures of these online, and it really doesn't do it justice. So we have a steel target back there, so things may get interesting later on. Some dog food, extra water towels, etc. By no means am I an RV expert, but from what I understand, the layout of this little leprechaun here is pretty common in terms of how everything's set up here. Dually uh, tires on the rear. We have our water connection. This is for uh, the actual water that stays on board. I believe it's a 60 gallon tank. And then we have the water connection if we're actually running it on city power. Right now we have it plugged in. That's actually the first time so far we've plugged it in, which is nice. This campground has that ability. And then here we have our TV hookup. If you go to a campground with cable, there is a TV on the inside. Um, and then coming underneath, basically what we have there is that's where you're gonna drain stuff. So you're gonna drain your water, um, both black water, which is sewage, and then gray water, which is like the water that runs on the sinks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's the exterior setup. Obviously this portion moves out uh, during the, while you're parked and then moves back in, but it, it feels like it doubles the interior. It really doesn't, but that's what it feels like. Unfortunately, I don't have a super wide angle lens. What you guys are looking through right now is essentially from the cab of the truck on back. However, it's wider than it looks, I can assure you. Uh, so back here in the rear, we have our queen size bed, which is nice. Uh, that does not need to be expanded or anything like that during the day when you're rolling down the road. It is in that size configuration. Uh, windows storage all the way around, which is nice refrigerator 
obviously that's nice as well. Uh, you have to, on everything here, cabinets, everything, for those of you that have never been in an RV, you have to push to release because obviously as you're rolling down the road, things would open up. Uh, it's kind of a mess right now. It's because we just got here and everything came out because it was all in the different containers and my wife's making dinner and actually she's out with the dogs right now, but she's doing all that stuff to get it set up so that we can eat, lay down, roll out in the morning. So uh, we'll flip the camera around to give you guys another better view. Actually, before we do that, a super important part of any RV, we do have bathroom, shower, sink, toilet, all of those fancy things. So really don't need to go anywhere. Pretty large, large cabinet here. Um, you know, regular stuff that you'd find in most RVs, coffee maker, uh, extra water, uh, Daniel Defense 300 blackout, um, those sorts of things. Um, pretty common stuff that you just see really wherever you go. Once again, guys, apologize. It looks like a bomb went off because we just took everything out. But up here on the top of the cab, what's cool is there's actually a bed up here. It looks like a queen size bed, maybe twin. Don't quote me on that. Uh, we're not using it right now, of course. It's got some storage up here, my bag, uh, audio equipment, guns, etc. Those sorts of things, again, that you would normally see. You guys can see the cab here. There is a actual privacy screen that you can put up there. And that's good to keep light out in the mornings, of course. We have our kitchen here, sink, stove. There is no oven. And then this part here slides in and out to make it larger or smaller in terms of space. We'll kind of show you that here real quick. The bowls are fine. And then all the way out. With that, we're gonna wrap the video up. Obviously it's not what I typically do here on the channel, but I think it's interesting. And I think a lot of people who are into my normal content would be into this type of content as well. Again, this is part one, there'll be a series. I'm not entirely sure how it's all gonna play out. We're gonna figure it out as we go along. Hopefully we'll have some light uh, to film, uh, depending on when we travel. Now, when we get to Yellowstone, we'll definitely have plenty of light and roll stuff in there. So either way, guys, we're gonna close it out there. And my wife is actually walking back now, so I'm assuming we're going to eat. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.